Hey everyone, today in the Foreign Pork Kitchen we are making a Chinese American specialty egg rolls. You can make egg rolls at home and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Hey everybody, welcome to The Foreign Fork. My name is Alexandria and we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. And today we're doing a Chinese American specialty egg rolls, which is actually pretty simple to make at home. So to get started, you're gonna need a wok. And if you don't have a wok, that's totally fine. You can use a frying pan too. If you have a wok, break it out. It's kind of fun to use, but don't stress if you don't have one. So I have my wok heated over a medium heat and I have about two tablespoons of sesame oil that I'm gonna add into the wok. I also have one and a quarter cup of bean sprouts. So these are soybean sprouts. They're a little bit bigger than the bean sprouts that I normally use, but they were all I could find um, this time. So you can use whatever you have available. Soybean sprouts are fine. It's all gonna cook down a little bit. Bean sprouts. They're a little bit tricky to find every once in a while. You can find bean sprouts uh, in your grocery store sometimes, but they're in a can. If you want fresh bean sprouts like what I have, look up an Asian American grocery store near your house. Um, my closest one is about 30 minutes away. So it was a hike to find them uh, fresh, but I definitely think it's worth it because it gives a lot of really good flavor and texture. So you're gonna saute the bean sprouts in the oil for a couple minutes, maybe like three or four minutes until they start to wilt and break down a little bit. Bean sprouts, bean sprouts are a pretty hearty vegetable, so they're not gonna you know, totally condense, but we just wanted to cook a little bit and start to get a little bit more pliable, and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. So a little history about egg rolls for you. If you watched my video of how to make crab rangoons, I also have a video of that on my channel. Um, we talked a little bit about how crab rangoons are served at Chinese restaurants, but they're not, they don't actually have any basis in Chinese culture. Egg rolls are kind of half and half, so, the concept of an egg roll is popular in China, but it's not necessarily the egg roll that we serve here in America. So egg rolls in China are a little bit smaller. I mean, they're, they're more resemblant of uh, like the spring rolls that we eat here. So they're a little smaller. The outside is a little bit different. Um, this version of egg rolls that we're making is kind of an American concept, but it, it does have roots in Chinese culture. So our bean sprouts are starting to cook a little bit, which means that we're gonna add the rest of the egg roll filling ingredients. I have a half cup of green onions, a half cup of mushrooms, a half cup of bamboo sprouts, which I also picked up at the Chinese grocery store, and a half cup of cooked chicken. So I used like a rotisserie chicken. If you wanna use um, a little bit more of a traditional egg roll recipe that you might get at a Chinese restaurant, um, you can either omit the meat altogether or um, the most popular meat type of meat to use in egg rolls when you get them at restaurants is pork. So you can also use pork if you'd like to. Lastly, I have about one teaspoon of Chinese five spice, which is a combination of five popular Chinese spices. So I'm gonna add that into the filling as well. And because everything is pretty much cooked, like we'll, we'll wanna cook it until the mushrooms start to cook through a little bit, but the chicken's already cooked, so you don't have to cook this for very long. Maybe just saute it for five, six minutes until everything is warm and the mushrooms start to show that they're cooking on the outside. So you can see everything looks pretty cooked in here. I looked at the mushrooms, they seem to be cooked through, so that means that our filling is actually done. So I'm just gonna transfer this into a smaller bowl so that it'll be easier to work with, not so hot. And I'm gonna let it cool down for a couple of minutes because we are about to put it in the egg roll wrappers. Okay, so now it's time to actually wrap the egg rolls. So I went again to the Asian grocery store and I got these egg roll wrappers. If you are having trouble finding them, like if you're going to look, um, they're gonna be in the freezer section. So they'll typically come frozen and then the night before you're planning to make the egg rolls, you have to leave them in the fridge and allow the wrappers to thaw out. So first thing that I need to do is take an egg and crack it into a little dish. Oops, that's one big shell. <laughs> take an egg, crack it into the dish, and I'm gonna whisk it up a little bit. And that is gonna be my egg wash for closing the egg rolls. So I have the filling here, and you just take a spoon and put some filling in the center. I don't know, two spoonfuls worth or so. And so you have the, the wrapper diagonally like this. So you have a, a corner pointing up away from you and a corner pointing down towards your belly. So you put the filling in the middle, maybe about like 
I don't know, an inch and a half from the corner of the, um, the wrapper. You roll that corner over and you can kind of do one nice roll so that it's all folded in there nice and easy. Then you roll the centers and continue wrapping until you get to this last little corner. Then you have your egg wash here, so you can dip your finger in the egg wash, put a little bit of that egg on the corner, and continue wrapping all the way, and that is gonna seal the egg roll. So here's a fun fact about egg rolls. They're not actually called egg rolls because there's egg in the filling recipe, and um, they're not called egg rolls because you use the egg to seal them. They're actually called egg rolls because egg roll wrappers have egg in them, whereas spring roll wrappers do not. Okay, so to actually cook the egg rolls and to get them nice and crispy on the outside like we're used to, I have about maybe a half inch of uh, vegetable oil heating up in this pan. And I'm just gonna add the egg rolls in there. Again, the inside's already cooked, so we don't need to cook the inside, we just need the outside to get nice and crispy. You can see them start to bubble. So we just need to wait for them to get crispy and brown on the outside, and then we'll remove them over here to a paper towel lined plate to, to collect any of the excess grease. So when you're cooking the egg rolls, um, something good to note is because the middle doesn't have to be cooked, like there's nothing that needs that's raw in the middle that needs to be done, um, you only need to cook the outside. So the faster that you cook the outside, the less grease the egg rolls are gonna hold. So if they're taking a long time to cook, maybe turn up the heat a little bit because you just need the outside to cook as fast as possible so that you don't have greasy egg rolls. And once you've fried them up, you're totally done. So I love having my egg rolls with sweet and sour sauce. So you can definitely get some store-bought sweet and sour sauce, but if you wanna make it at home, I also have a recipe on www.foreignfork.com. I'll put the link in the description of the video too so that you can make homemade sweet and sour sauce as well if you'd like. I love how crispy egg rolls are. I love having them as an appetizer to a delicious Chinese takeout meal. So if you wanna make this recipe at home, I'm gonna put the instructions in the description of the video. And then you can also check out all the other videos on my YouTube channel. I have some really good recipes from China already actually on the YouTube channel too. So you can check those out and check out all the other recipes I have from countries around the world. Thanks so much for cooking with me everybody and I will talk to you soon.